Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Rad Kutarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be a Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon, and uh, Virgo Rising. Weekly tarot reading September 9th to September 15th, uh, 2019. And bear with me a couple of seconds, guys, here to shuffle the tarot cards, and we can jump right into it. So the first card which stands for the topic, the very theme of your week, Virgo, is going to be the Queen of uh, the King of Wands, excuse me, followed by the next one which stands for the challenges that you need to overcome throughout the week, that is going to be the Ten of Pentacles, followed by the next one which represents the uh, positive aspect of the week, that will be the Page of Pentacles, and then the last one here that stands for the guidance that Tarot is offering, this will be the Ace of Wands. So pretty straightforward reading is what we do have here. There will be a, a person approaching you with some sort of an idea or a proposal. However, you're going to find it very difficult to believe that this proposal is going to yield up a result that this person is promising, right? So before we see how this thing all plays out, um, let's run the cards one more time. Queen, uh, King of Wands, it is the topic and the main theme of the week, followed by the next one, which stands for the uh, challenges that you need to overcome. That will be the Ten of Pentacles. Then we do have the Page of Pentacles, which stands for the positive aspect. And the last one here is going to be the um, Ace of Wands, which represents the guidance. All right, so uh, we do have the King of Wands. So King of Wands is usually a, a person who is very well recognized into the society, all right? A, a person who has who maintains always positive attitude, a person who knows how to make fun and how to experience life in its most exhilarating forms. But the thing is that the King of Wands, it is a, a perfectionist. What I mean is that they do not settle for mediocre or low. They always go for perfection. They always go for the maximum they can achieve. Now, the thing is that throughout this week, this person is going to see that they can achieve the maximum with you. So they do have an idea they need. They want to put to, to put a, a determinate actions behind that idea. So in other words, they want to start manifesting it and they need you to start manifesting this idea. The idea could be about marriage. The idea could be about new project. The idea could be about, you know, a, a personal business as well that they want to make a partnership with you. We don't know what that idea is going to be until this person comes around. But the thing is that they need you, all right? But without you, or at least at that stage, they see that without you, I, it's, uh, this idea is, is not going to work out, right? So they see you as a key asset in it. The accompanied card is going to be the Magician, the Formation. It is a active uh, friend. Uh, it's a very, very powerful one. I mean, uh, if, especially for business, you don't get to have something that's it's, it's, it's 
better than that in a large margin, all right? Because with the magician, it points that this person is very skillful. It does have the authority to make the things happen. Uh, it also, it's very good when it comes to communications. It's very knowledgeable as well, all right? Maybe the only thing that they do lack at this point, it is you as a, a follower. Now, it's very important here to acknowledge that we're talking about followership and not in an equal partnership. So if this is, for example, for a relationship uh, and that person wants to be with you in a relationship, they still will expect that they are to be the one who calls the shots. But the king of wands always kind of, they, they do care how the people sees their endeavor. So therefore, they will also taking care of you as well. And when it comes to business, that is also the same thing. They will be the lead of the business, but in the same time, you know, they're going to give you the um the rewards that you do deserve okay they're not selfish that's my point so the challenges here virgo are to be the ten of pentacles that is exactly where it comes to you finding it very difficult to believe that this is going to work out all right you are going to find it very difficult to believe that at the end of the day you are going to feel yourself satisfied with this goal with this agenda with this uh, with this endeavor so you will uh, opt to maintain um independence here and uh, it, the challenge comes to kind of simultaneously maintain your independence and as well try out with what that uh, person the king of wands is coming to you about and that is going to make it even more difficult if you beforehand you do have something to do with this king of wands because the ten of pentacles incorporates that all right that you do had a deal with each other beforehand it could be a um, previous relationship you know it could be uh, that you had business together beforehand and etc etc the accompanied card here is going to be the uh, king of cups formation it is a uh, passive friends that we do have the king of cups is make it even harder it is because the king of cups here points that you are going to address the whole issues uh, issue very professionally in a sense of that it will not matter what you feel toward the king of wands because the king of wands is usually a very handsome person or if not handsome it knows how to press buttons but you are going to maintain your emotional sobriety if i may express it that way additionally to that it does look like that you do not need any help or do not need um, any offer, at least in this particular field. OK, so uh, if that comes into your career, then these two cards points that you are to be quite well sorted out into your career. So you can expect that this person is going to come around and is going to offer you something exactly in the field that you don't need any change about. And that is going to make it extremely difficult for you to, um, you know, it's not even about jeopardizing, but to put your side, yourself outside of the comfort zone and try it out with them. Now, what is going to help you throughout the week? That is going to be the Page of Pentacles. We do have another person that is a faithful companion, someone who loves you as a friend and uh, wants to see you even more prosperable, either career-wise or either relationship-wise. So they're not going to... Um, push you necessarily to take the offer but together you are going to um, analyze if you invest into it is there any chance for you to lose or what is going to be the benefit for you investing into it does your investments really um, answer to the gains that you are to take from this endeavor the accompanied card is going to be the Queen of Wands, the formation. It is a, a passive friend, a pa passive neutrals, excuse me, that we do have. So <clears throat> a bit peculiar combination this is what we do have here the, because the, what the Queen of Wands uh, uh, divulges is that the page does not know this person. So we do have a, a triangle that this faithful companion of yours does not know about the King of Wands, all right? But in the same time, they do have an, an idea um, what character the King of Wands is. It's very difficult to describe. But the point here is, is that the page is going to um, help you understand, you know, uh, what you can improve from this, uh, from this particular cooperation you can have with the King of Wands. Not necessarily a romantic one and not necessarily as well a... Um, 
career one it could be one way or the other it could be as well a um just you know hobby adventure we don't know that but the thing is that with with this uh with this follow up of uh, of the next reading it seems that you can expand upon already well sprout field in your life and you and this faithful companion, the Page of Pentacles, together are going to analyze very thoroughly and very carefully, you know, what is that you have to gain and what you can possibly lose from it. And some of you may decide it isn't worth it, all right? Some of you is going to decide that it does worth it. At the end of the day, it does depend on you. This is completely conditional, um, conditional reading, I would say, all right? Uh, but the uh, guidance here with the Ace of Wands is pretty clear, telling you that you should take the offer, all right? Because the offer, it is a, a gaining for enterprise. It is something that will allow you to improve your, um, not just gains, but will allow you from one to improve your skills, to improve your knowledge, to improve your confidence as well, to improve your standpoint. And also is going to be a an, an enterprise that will allow you to experience very surprises along the way, okay? Things that you haven't experienced up until this point. It could be the true love, it could be a, a very lucrative business as well, business that you don't have much clue how to tackle with, but you're gonna quickly start getting the hang of it. The accompanied card that we do have, it is the Six of Wands, and this is a promise of a fast, temporary success, okay? Like a milestone. So uh, whatever this King of uh, Wands is offering to you, you and him, him I'm saying because it's, it's a king, very, very quickly could uh, can achieve that goal. And after that, it is the whole efforts are gonna be thrown into sustaining the goal and even expanding even further than that. So it does look like a, a very, very gainingful and very, or very lucrative or very emotional proposition here, guys, a proposition that is gonna be a shame if you don't at least um, explore it. I'm not saying that you have to um, throw everything you got into it, but consider at least, you know, exploring and uh, researching it before you say no. So that being said, Virgo, this was your weekly tarot reading for a September 9th to September 15th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.